Back last night, 1200 Hurricane Florence evacuees stayed in Georgia State Parks. Suzanne Lawler joins us live at High Falls State Park to show you how the parks are rolling out some special amenities. Yeah, guys, we're here at Hot Falls State Park where they say they have about 70 sites available, but that's all going to change tomorrow when they expect an influx of evacuees to come right here. The phone was just ringing off the hook today, but this is only one park in an entire system of parks, a park system that looks to give a layer of support to evacuees looking to spend the night. Um, so we were mandatory evacuated. I'm on TV. The Zell family is from North Carolina. So my husband's stationed at Camp Lejeune. And they admit they don't have a lot of anxiety about Hurricane Florence. Uh, stuff is stuff. You know, we packed our pictures that we didn't already have on the computer. We packed a few valuables and just not even valuables, just, you know, like heirlooms and stuff like that. Well, I can put some of it into my camp. Leslie Mobley is a ranger and no stranger to doing mind. rounds. I'm a People are worried about losing their homes and, you know, losing everything. You just have to, you know, be cognizant of that. Along with the layer of empathy, no one will be turned away. Even if the sites fill up, there's a program called dry camping and it won't cost evacuees a dime. Dry camping means that um, they're on the park, but they don't have um, like electric or water hookups. Um, for example, last year during Irma, we had people dry camping in near our boat ramp, which is a large gravel area. The hospitality means a lot to the Zells. Because we checked in last night after check-in hours, so we weren't able to see anyone last night, but even first thing this morning, you know, my husband said he went and checked in. Everyone was really sweet, and I mean, I feel like it's always that way, whether or not you're an evacuee or not. That's Kim Hatcher with Georgia State Parks says another thing to keep in mind that you couldn't used to uh, have your pets in the cabins and the yurts and that kind of thing. They're waiving those rules during a weather emergency, which this is classified as such. So all pets are welcome throughout Georgia State Parks. Guys, back to you. That's good to hear. Thank you, Suzanne. That's a good option for a lot of folks. Now, if you're an evacuee, we have a guide to Central Georgia full of lodging deals and more, and it's on our website. Go to 13WMAC.com.